hi guys i'm sir class and welcome to another tutorial i'm going to show you the basics of a reverb what each of these buttons do and how to use them when mixing now i'm using the fab filter pro r reverb but this um principle applies to any reverb plugin you're going to be using i have my vocal track here and i'm going to emphasize on each of these buttons then give you some tips and advice on how to use reverb for your own unique situation so let's listen without the um, reverb of course niggas who them are the niggas who them are the niggas ain't nobody better ain't nobody better ain't nobody better who oh, them other niggas? Who oh, them other niggas? Who oh, them other niggas? Ain't nobody better. Ain't nobody better. Ain't nobody better. All right. So that is the vocal. It's dry. No reverb. No room echoes. Just straight vocals. No effects. So now I'm going to put on the um, fab filter effects, and I'm going to. resets everything sorry about that let me bring it back up all right so starting with the default button the default settings in um, the fab filter pro r reverb in the brightness what it simply does is tells how dark or how bright you want the sound to be let's hear it and see how it will sound if it's all the way dark Niggas, who them are the niggas, who them are the niggas Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better Then let's see how it sounds all the way bright Niggas, who them are the niggas, who them are the niggas Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better Alright, so this brightness is simply, simply kind of like an EQ for the reverb itself, not the main vocal it EQs the reverb, tells the reverb if it should. That is the reverb effect vocal. That is the wet, the wetness. That is when an effect is applied to a an instrument or a vocal, the affected one is called the wet signal, and the one without the effect is called the dry signal. So right now, what I hear is both the dry and the wet signal together. So the reverb button, this brightness button, the reverb um, plugin, sorry, is going to make the sound the wet sound sound brighter that is it's going to boost the high frequencies of the eq it's going to be really responsive with the high frequencies or if it's dark it's going to be really responsive in the lower frequencies and cut off the higher frequencies so that's simply what this brightness does so sometimes you may want it to be bright so it can be really soothing to the ear but not too bright that it sounds harsh to the ear you can always start maybe midway it's always best to start halfway but then from there you can progress and tweak it a little as you go on the next is the character you can have it clean or you can have it as chorus you can take it all the way up to chorus so let's say it sounds in chorus then we we'll see how it sounds in um clean niggas who them are the niggas who them are the niggas ain't nobody better ain't nobody better all right let's see how it sounds in clean Niggas, who them are the niggas, who them are the niggas Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better So what this, what this does, this character is that it tries to create some, a variation of the vocal by making it sound a little bit fuller by having a kind of like a chorus effect but it's not all that noticeable here if you listen closely, sub to, like just really sub to you can hear that increase in thickness in the vocal but I don't like the, the way it sounds because it sounds like as if it's um it makes it sound muddy. So I'll not use the chorus. I'll not advise to use the chorus effect if you're just trying to get a clean mix. But if you have maybe a special um purpose for it, then maybe you can test the chorus a little bit more and see what you can do with it. So I will not even use the live layer, I'll turn it all the way down, maybe somewhere around clean. Yeah, I'll turn it all the way down. Then the distance is how close or how far the reverb um plugin effect will be. Let's see how it sounds from far. Niggas, who them are the niggas, who them are the niggas. Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better. And let's see how it sounds close. 
Nickers, who they more than Nickers, who they more than Nickers. Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better. Again, far, let's go far. Nickers, who they more than Nickers, who they more than So, what this does is it determines like how soon it brings the um reverb, the like the wet signal close to the dry signal. Do you want the wet signal to go far, or the, cl or the wet signal should be really close and play simultaneously with the um dry vocal like how soon do you want it to play so usually a, a slight delay is always um advisable so i can take it let's say somewhere here and see how it sounds but then again it depends on what you're trying to achieve but most times this setting is always optimal for most of the vocals i mix somewhere here or the half or halfway Nickers, who they more than Nickers, who they more than Nickers. Ain't nobody better. So you can use this um effect when it's far. If you are trying to achieve maybe a delay effect in the river, you want to delay the effects, the reverb effects really well. So you can use that to delay it a lot. But if you want it to like happen almost simultaneously, like you don't want that delay effect. Especially if maybe the vocal is not all that spacious. Like this vocal is quite spacious, so I can have it close to the middle but if the vocal was really tight maybe it was a rapper that's rapping really really fast i can have it maybe somewhere here to be closer but since the vocal the artist has some space in it while singing i can just make it somewhere here close to center but if maybe like it's just kind of like a call and response or maybe a chant i can turn it all the way up so it will fill up all the space and make it sound more interesting then again you want to be careful so it will sound more they shouldn't collide with all other sounds that are coming so you tweak it and you be careful while tweaking to make sure it doesn't collide with coming with incoming sounds while mixing. So leave it here. Nickers, who they more than Nickers, who they more than Nickers. All right. So next we have the space, which is almost kind of like the most important feature here. So the space is or the reverb time is kind of like telling the plugin how big the space is because reverb is, rear is simply a plug and trying to mimic how things sound in a space so if it's really small like 200 milliseconds that means the reverb travels really fast and comes back to the source like it doesn't waste time it just goes and come and it sounds like in a small room maybe you're singing in a maybe in a bathroom a very small bathroom or in a cubicle so that small space the sound bounces off really fast and comes back to your ear but if I have all the way wide, maybe a cathedral or in a very wide, very big room, so it takes a longer time for the sound to come back to your ears. So it bounces off the walls, the ceiling, the floor, and takes a much longer time to come back to your ear. So I'll let's say it sounds in a very small space, that is 0 0.20 seconds or 200 milliseconds. Let's see how it sounds. Nickers, who they more than Nickers, who they more than Nickers. And let's say it sounds in a very large room. You can see after stopping in the sustain that ends there. So since this is a lead vocal, we let's say it sounds at mid at halfway. I think that's still too much. Let's turn it here and see. Nickers, who they more than Nickers, who they more than Nickers. Let me take it all the way here. Nickers, who they more than Nickers, who they more than Nickers. All right, that seems fine for now. Remember, none of these settings are permanent. You can always come back and tweak some more. I'm just trying to explain what each of these buttons do in reverb. In, your, in some plugins, this is called um, the reverb time. It can be called um, space. Some can call the smallest one maybe um, bedroom or bathroom. Then the largest one hall or cathedral. Then maybe the middle range, maybe a spring or so. It depends. Different plugin manufacturers call their um, space different names. So the decay rate is how fast you want it to decay. I'm sorry. I can make it. Let's say it sounds with a very slow decay rate. Nickers, who they more than Nickers, who they more than Nickers. Yeah, let's see how. And if you notice, the 
space is also increasing as, 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 as I increase the decay rates. Let's see how it sounds. What the decay rate does is it's telling the plugin how soon should the sustain that is the reverb effect the wet signal how soon should it fade so typically unless if it's a chance i can allow it sustain for a very long time there are no incoming vocals to fill it up but since there are incoming vocals that's going to take up that space i'll just leave it at halfway somewhere here then here we have the width stereo width you want if you want to make it wider to occupy the entire stereo field or if you want to make it mono to just stay in the dead center then again depends on what you're trying to achieve but most times having a stereo spread makes your reverb sound much better so, so let's say it sounds in mono and let's see how it sounds in stereo all the way to stereo the max so i think the stereo the all the way spatial sounds better the spatial sounds better than the mono and also this is the mix how much of the reverb itself do you want you want it to be a lot or do you want none in some reverb plugins you see dry dry or wet button here is the same thing with the mix some plugins is still called mix some it's called dry or it's called wet so it depends on your plugin manufacturer so let's listen to it halfway and see let's turn it here and see Ain't nobody bother, ain't nobody bother, ain't nobody bother. All right, I think it's much better with this mix setting. So that's just typically what the reverb is about. So reverb even go all the way to have um, EQ settings here. You can play with the EQ to give its own unique sound. And you can play with the decay rates manually. That's one reason why I, why I love using the Fab Filter Pro reverb. Because I have a lot of flexibility, and sometimes I want my I want to sculpt my reverb to sound really, really unique too. Like I don't want to settle for default options, so I just play around some more. So let's play around with the EQ and see how it's going to sound. Let me boost it all the way up and see. You can see how that sounds. So I can bring it. Cut it and see. So you can see that. So I can also do this. Do a high, do a low pass. And I can also do a a high pass as well Nickers, who they more than acres who they more than acres ain't nobody bother ain't nobody bother so that is this just depends on what you're trying to achieve so you can play with the eq settings in the reverb and also the decay rates you can also select what frequency can decay the most and to the time is going to decay so let's see how it sounds when i boost it all the way up here Nickers, who they more than acres who they more than acres so let me let me boost the mid frequency and see. You can see it sounds more mod, it sounds muddy in this frequency range. So you can also like that's why I love this plugin. You can determine which frequency we have the sustain and have the reverb effect. You can have control of your high pass filter. You can have a a radio effect as a reverb plugin. Like you can do a whole lot. It's really flexible. So I recommend this plugin. You can just really spend time to get to understand this plugin and hopefully this video helps you understand this plugin and achieving very good reverb for your vocals so that's it for this tutorial i'll see you on the next tutorial i remember classy cheers